of state. There are 82 reasons not to run, 8,200 reasons not to run in the state as a Republican. Um, and, and then you have to have the ultimate discussion, not with your spouse, you know where Kendall is on this, <laughs> but with your ego. You have to separate your ego from yourself and talk to your ego. Because you have to figure out why you want to do this. Is it all for the wrong reasons? Is it revenge? Is it to get back? Is it? And there's all there's lots of wrong reasons to do it. There's only one good reason to do it, which is to do good and to do well and to go back there and hold power responsibly and fix what's broken in Apple. It's the only reason to run. But can you win? And that's the pragmatic. So I talked to my ego. And I talked to my wife, and I talked to many folks in this room, and I talked to thousands of people around the state of Maryland. We got thousands of emails at the radio show, and uh, I decided, you know what, this was the thing to do. And and that threshold was, I know we can do the job, but can you win, and do you have a shot to win? And that means there's about 25% chance at the time. If it was 50-50, I said, I'd never reach it. It's Maryland, right? So if, I, if it was an even chance, if I had to do this as an even chance to win, I never would have said yes. So many folks in this room stepped up and said no. And of course, the big shot's here as well. Well, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, 15 days ago, we go from Washington. And it's just been sort of a great run ever since. We're spending a million dollars a week uh, on TV now. And the ads have gone over very well. We're up with our last three or four ads. I'm cutting the last two, I guess, tomorrow. And the very positive to me talking right to the camera about closing the deal. And this last 98 hours has been just part of this really roll we're on. Four major newspaper endorsements over the last 48 hours. Yay. We yes. announced a. Uh, yes. a uh, fundraising number in the bluest of blue states in the last 49 days against an incumbent Democratic governor, we raised $2.82 million. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Woo That's 60000 a day every day for 49 days. Okay. And by the way, since, we, since that period ended last Sunday, we've gone over that. We're probably going to end up raising close to a million dollars just in the last week of the campaign. Another million. That'll be about $9 million in nine months. That's people stepping up. 98% of the dollars from Maryland, lots of $25 checks. 12,000 contributors this past cycle, 49 days alone. That's grassroots. That's 25 and 50 and 75 and 12 and 10 and $80 checks coming in. Obviously, the polling's looking better, a lot better, closing fast. The, the Facebook, I'm up to 62,000 friends. Friends. Yeah. 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 Mario Mal is at 27,000 friends. <laughs> which, Aww. as I say, proves Aww. I'm just a heck of a lot friendlier. <laughs> <laughs> so, all these are metrics. You know, and metrics count. We all know that. We've all been involved in campaigns. And, but metrics don't vote. But metrics do show what's going to happen. The numbers, the people, the Facebook, the volunteers, everything you see, and you know this so well, of course you know this. It shows momentum, it's tangible, you can touch it. Last 12 days, Hispanics for Early is important. That's right. And I thank you all very much for being here this evening. Right. We have a lot of neat coalitions, obviously. Yeah. The Hispanic population in this state, given my history, given what we did our first four years, given the growing importance of Hispanic Marylanders, never been more important. Never have we been better situated, by the way, to get more votes than we are this year. So your operation, your signs, your bumper stickers, your, it was just like a satellite campaign, actually, uh, really count. And will continue to count as the Hispanic population in Maryland continues to grow. And obviously, with the issues agenda that we have, with the social values we have, it's just an easy marriage with most Hispanics in Maryland. It's just closing the deal, that's all. It's just closing the deal. That's what tonight's about, that's what the next 12 days have to be about. Uh, here's the secret plan for the next 12 days. 
It's not a secret. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you. Um, we're going to continue to raise dollars. We're going to hit the streets, door to door, retail politics, be on TV, radio. By the way, the third debate occurred this morning, and I won again. So, um, yeah. but, uh, Anybody saw or heard the debate, but he started doing that old stuff already. It's all old to me anyway. That you know, you were a stinky, dirty, rotten, big old fat lobbyist in, in the private sector and you made money and and, and all that. And I responded. You know, Martin, there's a big old private sector out there, and guess what? You're going to be in it in two months. So, uh, so uh, <laughs> that was pretty good, I have to say. Um, so, for 12 days, we need everybody here just to continue doing what you're doing, which is amazing. Or amazing. This county is key. All of you know it. If you showed me tonight, one or two precinct results in our county, I'll tell you who won the election. I don't need to look at anything else. That's how important this county is. That's what a barometer this county has been over the years. Now, even the Democrats know we're going to win Howard County this time, which, as I remind everybody last Sunday, will prove Mike Miller wrong yet again. Because Mike Miller, known to some of you, unknown to many of you, my good friend Mike Miller really cares about me. <laughs> and 18 months ago, I have the note, he wrote me a personal note on Maryland State Senate letterhead because he cares about me. And in that note he said, you need not to run. You have better things to do. You can't win. Howard County is lost forever. Oh, oh. Uh, how sad. Now no this, way. No this, way. This from the man who promised to burn us, cut us, bury us, ten feet down, face down forever. What was that thing? Yeah. 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 Come, come up for ten up years. For 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. But he's a nice man. And um, <laughs> so I have that note. So now, what days, I have to sign that note, by the way. For everybody, it's really important. It's a close. When we're closing fast. And, 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 and we can pick up seats as well by winning by four points, not by two, five points, not by three. So winning is really important. That's goal one. Winning not close is goal two. And then on election night, we're going to be at the fairgrounds of Tony, State Fairgrounds. Please, please be there. It's going to be a big, large, exciting, vibrant party. We're going to have all sorts of hats and signs. We're going to jump up and down. Well, lots of cheap beer, and um, it's going to be a big party. We're expecting just a huge crowd. That night, I'm going home, Kendall, and I don't know about you, but I'm sleeping in next morning. <laughs> you deserve kids, it. Kids are going to school. I told Drew already, right, not sorry, I can not. And uh, at 12 o'clock the next day, it's transition time. Big press conference. We announced transition team. Some folks in this room will be involved there. Uh, during transition next couple months and it's a very serious time we announced transition chief the orderly transfer of power occurs that's America that's Maryland that's how it goes and then uh, the cameras going to go away and at 1 30 p.m. on November 3rd I'm going to walk in my office at campaign and get back to work get back to work <laughs> groups have grown the county organizations have executed flawlessly the money's poured in, the endorsements are occurring, the polls are rapidly getting to zero, which is what we need on election day. And it's just, and, and we have this crop of candidates, we've never had this quality before. Why? Because we couldn't win. And you're not going to try quality candidates if you can't win. Well, guess what look we have, and all around the state, by the way. And this is a fine looking group here. Right? <laughs> But seriously, county councils and county executives and the House of Delegates and State Senate, that's where the next generation of congressmen and governors come from, the United States Senators. That's where they come from. The Hispanic population in the state is growing. It's important. It should be Republican. It shouldn't be close. Given the values in this community, social values and economic values, it shouldn't be close. 
It's our job to close it. With your help, we will. Thanks for being here tonight. Godspeed, everybody. Thank you.